How are you folks? Josh Zawoon from Play One Sim Gear. Not going to beat around the bush here. In the next three minutes, we're going to talk about the Pimax Frontier event and how it's going to shape the next few years of the VR sim market. Alrighty, so if I can summarize one word what this Pimax Frontier event has covered, it is direction. So Pimax now has a direction that they're headed in. They are taking direct aim at the PC VR sim market. So starting at $699, we have the Pimax Crystal Light. Massive weight savings, so they've cut down a third of the weight. And if you have a look here, this covers all the bases. It has all the best elements of the Pimax Crystal without any of the uh, extra trimmings that some people consider unnecessary. So you no longer have the eye tracking, um, but you do have the glass lenses, 35 PPD, 2880 by 2880, 120 hertz display, which is the display we've all come to love. It is You are gonna get that crystal sharp VR image that we've all come to associate with the Pimax Crystal. So absolutely game changing for the entry level market coming in at $699. This is going to take the Quest 3 off the radar for a lot of people here being a native PC headset. So without that battery, we now have indefinite, you know, you can use this headset indefinitely and it's now going to be the go-to for sure um, to supersede the Reverb G2. Alrighty, so the Pimax Crystal Light, that'll be landing on Australian shores hopefully sometime in June. Um, Pre-releases will be out at Play One Sim Gear store or, our, or your local market. So uh, jump on and get on top of that because they are going to sell out like hotcakes. Okay, so the next headset here that they've announced is the Pimax Crystal Super. So the Pimax Crystal Super is essentially the Pimax Crystal with direction. Okay, so what I mean by that is they are taking aim at the PC VR market here. They're doing away with the battery, no all-in-one mode anymore, but what you get in return is changeable optics, a much, much, much higher um, resolution, bigger lenses, so we're gonna get a much wider field of view. Um, yeah, so it's gonna have a bigger sweet spot because of the size of the glass lens here. And as I mentioned, interchangeable. So they're giving us the option to swap out to a micro OLED display, which is using their spheric lenses. So this is the first implementation of a, a spheric lens combined with a micro OLED display in a headset. So given the, given the manufacturing difficulties with the micro OLED display up to this point, I guess it hasn't been possible, but Pimax has found a way as they always do. Alrighty, so last but not least is the Crystal Air Link. So this is great to see. It is landing at $299 US dollars unless you pre-order it and save yourself 50 bucks. It has the full resolution, but you are limited to 90 hertz. So look forward to seeing this one and seeing how well it operates. But that'll do me anyways, guys. Just wanted to briefly touch on everything that went over in the Primax Frontier event. Um, this was huge. This is going to absolutely change the market for the next few years and it's given everyone a benchmark to aim for. Alrighty, so if you like this content, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you could, leave a comment if you want to know anything about these headsets in the future or anything you may want us to look at. Until next time, I've been Josh Sawina from Player One Sim Gear. Have a good day.